What is going on guys, it is CW Gaming, and I'm back with another Madden 21 video, and in today's episode, we are kicking off our franchise mode. And you do see, we are picking the Carolina Panthers. We're picking the Panthers, they have a lot of young guys, such as Christian McCaffrey, uh, DJ Moore, uh, some other guys on defense as well, and they have a pretty interesting situation with their quarterback, uh, with Teddy Bridgewater. What are they going to do? Are they going to sign? Are they going to draft? So, that's kind of what we're doing. We're going to take on the Carolina Panthers and see what we can do with them. So, here's our settings. I just want to show these real quick. We're playing on all pro. 10-minute uh, quarters. We can't change this as time goes on, but this is what we're focusing on right now. Let's take a look at our lineup now. So, we have Christian McCaffrey. A 99 overall running back. He's going to be a key piece to our offense this year. We are building the team around Christian McCaffrey. Teddy Bridgewater, our quarterback, 76 overall. We're going to need to see what to do with him as he gets older. Is he going to be the quarterback that we need? Uh, and to do that, receivers are the way to go. Receivers are what we build our team around. They can help a quarterback have a great season. So Curtis Samuel, Robbie Anderson, he's an 85 overall. Star development in his fourth year coming out of Temple. So, those skill guys are good. Our O-line does need to be fixed. We only have probably one or two guys that I'm going to keep. Defense of the side, we do have some key factors. We have two guys there in the blue that need to be developed. And other than that, we are going to be good to go. So, we're going to go ahead, kick off our first game of the year against the Oakland now Los, Angeles, Las Vegas Raiders. We'll see Teddy Bridgewater and the Carolina Panthers taking on Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. BA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in uptown. Well, here we go. The Cam Newton era Carolina officially over and in first time since 2015. All right, here we go. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. He bangs it to the outside, breaks a tackle. He gets around his first defender. He breaks the second defender, and he is racing number 21 to the end zone, uncontested, straight into the end zone. The first play of the game is a 73-yard touchdown from Christian McCaffrey. That's exactly how we want to start our season. And we need to continue that with the defense. Carr throws the ball over our linebacker's head for a nice gain on first down. So Carr hands this one to Josh Jacobs, the power back out of Alabama. In his second year, I believe. And Jacobs again on the catch. And he will pick up the first. So Jason Winton with a catch on first down. Makes it second and three. And over to Hunter Renfro on that one. So, the Raiders are making a pretty good drive. Pass after pass. We haven't been able to stop them so far. A car's going to throw this one out of bounds and away for a third and eight. So, this is a crucial stop. And that's exactly what we get. Our cornerback plays that well. And breaks up the pass and... Las Vegas will have to settle for a field goal. So we're back. We need another explosive play. We're going to hit circle, which is DJ Moore on the throw. So here we go. DJ Moore running deep down the field. He's double coverage, but he still makes the catch. He makes the catch on the three-yard line in double coverage. What a catch. What a throw from Bridgewater. And what a way to finish it off with Christian McCaffrey with a juke into the end zone. There's a touchdown. So 14-3 is the score. We're playing a little zone with our linebacker here. Carr will throw this one out of bounds for a second down, which goes to Jacobs. He picks up a couple and third and three. So we have another third down opportunity. Shaq Thompson goes for the aggressive blitz and leaves Delaney Walker wide open. So here we go. First and 10 for Derek Carr. He makes another throw. 
And we almost got the sack there, but not enough. So, first down. Derek Carr is having a pretty good first couple of drives here. And another catch is made on third down. So here's Jacobs up the middle. He gets a couple. And it is second and five. I expected another run from Jacobs, and that's exactly what they did. And we ended up getting a pretty nice stop. So third and five. They're running a screen. We're there, but we missed the tackle. We go around to the other side. Jacobs cuts to the left and picks up the first down. So Jacobs once again on the run. He's got a couple carries here today already. We lock down the middle of the field, and Carr goes to the outside. And we make another stop in the red zone. And Las Vegas is forced to another field goal. So 14 to six, we have a good opportunity to put the game not away but in good hands and we give that one to McCaffrey so he has 79 yards and two touchdowns already and on first down we have Anderson out wide more out wide we're gonna hit our tight end who makes a spectacular catch one-handed doesn't go for many yards, but it was a great catch. It's great to see in the first game. So here we go over to McCaffrey, who picks up the first down reception. And Okun from Carolina is hurt, so our offensive lineman I got scared. I thought that was McCaffrey. Speaking of McCaffrey, he weaves his way around a couple of tackles. He's up the middle, and he will be tackled just shy of the end zone. So McCaffrey punches the ball in to the end zone for his third touchdown of the day. 21-6, we go in the second quarter. Las Vegas has a lot of catching up to do. They, they've been moving the ball pretty well with their passing game. Carr has been eating us up on the throwing. Uh, we haven't been able to stop them on that. So they have a lot of potential to score. We just need to stop them and score with our offense to counteract that that play from Derek Carr so we're gonna need to make as many stops as we can we have a couple guys going out on catches right there Derek Carr makes a nice throw second and seven and this one goes to Jacobs who doesn't pick up much and we bring up another third down that we have struggled on today and a corner almost jumps the route and makes the interception, but he can't grab it. They're forced to kick a field goal, which they miss. So, great opportunity for us there. McCaffrey up the middle on the, on the carry. Bridgewater's going to throw. He makes a nice throw over to our tight end. And we have our tight end once again. Who goes down for the two-minute warning. And we're going to give this one to McCaffrey, who does get tackled uh, with no gain. So, looking to the end zone right here, we got a little aggressive on the throw. Brandon Heath picks the ball up, picks off the ball to the 12-yard line. He got a little bit too aggressive right there, and it did cost us. So, we do have enough time. We just have to make a couple of stops. Carr over to Waller, who picks up the first down. A minute to go. Here's Carr. He drops back. That's Waller once again. Second 11. That was a throw behind the line of scrimmage. So, second down. We almost had that one picked off with Shaq Thompson, but he wasn't able to come up with it. Third down. We need another stop. They give it to Jacobs, and we do make the stop, and we will get the ball back. So, 40 seconds to score. We have McCaffrey cutting across the field, and Heath comes up with a face mask. So Heath makes the interception, and he goes and gets the face mask. So we need to capitalize on moments like this. We have good field position. We have a couple receivers open, but not quite, and Bridgewater will go down for the sack. So 10 seconds to go. That kind of killed our drive. We still have an opportunity. We have a chance. And the receivers there confused about who that was going to. And we will go into halftime with a 21-6 lead.
So let's take a touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned. Don't play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big So, to start the second half. First half recap, we did pretty well on offense. McCaffrey is a beast. Jacobs is now hurt on the field. But first half recap, McCaffrey is a great running back. He is absolutely dominating today. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater is playing pretty well. Despite that little aggressive throw he had, um, he's been playing pretty well, making some good throws, some good reads. Our defense is playing well. They're getting carved up by Derek Carr in the passing game but they're making good stops when they need them, uh, minimizing the damage. So if we can continue that play, we should come out with a win. But Derek Carr and Josh Jacobs, who's now returned from injury, is making that pretty difficult. Jacobs up the middle for a nice game. They're getting pretty close to the red zone here, and we're going to make sure they don't make it with a nice sack, third and 12. Carr drops back. He rolls out. Has Waller sitting right on the first down line. And he will carry it up to the 17-yard line for the first down. So, Jacobs up the middle. He will be tackled at the 8. And Derek Carr drops back. He's got some receivers open. We weren't able to shut the middle off for Winfro. And it will lead to Josh Jacobs on the carry. He goes up the middle. Once again, we stop him. It will be holding on the offense. But we will decline the penalty. Bring up third down. I do this because Derek Carr has been eating us up on the passing game. And with room, they could possibly make a throw. And on the two, they're going to run the ball like we suspected. We stop him on third. But on fourth, he Josh Jacobs punches it into the end zone. I thought we made the right call. We played it pretty well. But Jacobs is a great back and pushed it into the end zone. So, 21-13. McCaffrey's going to try and counteract Jacobs. Nice carry. He comes up with a nice juke and a first down. 155 yards with three touchdowns for McCaffrey today. DJ Moore with a great contact catch on the sideline. Teddy Bridgewater drops back. McCaffrey on the screen pass. And he will go out of bounds, bringing up second and three. So we're going to hand this one off to him. He does his job up the middle, gains the first down. So we're getting close to the fourth quarter. We're going to try and hand this one to McCaffrey on the read. And for some reason, I did not hand that one to him. I'm not sure what happened right there, but Bridgewater is tackled short of the first down. And we have to make another stop starting the fourth quarter. So Carr drops back. He throws and finds Jacobs, who makes a three-yard catch. And the pressure got to Carr there, but not in time. As our defender jumps on Jacobs back for the tackle. Third and five. Carr drops back. He has his receiver over the middle. And it will be down for first down. So eight and a half minutes to go. We need to make a stop. Las Vegas has come back on us with our offense stalling out. So our defense needs to continue its production from the day. We have Jacobs. Cutting to the left instead of going straight up, up the middle where he was going. And it will bring up a third and two. Jacobs up the middle. He does gain the first down. And their drive will continue. Carr stopped almost once again. Jacobs breaks a tackle. Stiff arms another guy and goes down just shy of the first down. So that was a great, great throw and catch and run by Jacobs. And it brings up a short run that will be stopped just shy of the first down, third and inches. Carr over to his receiver, Waller, who's been absolutely eating us up today. And it will be another first down. So five and a half minutes. Carr over to the left side of the field. It will be Williams, and it will be down second and two. So Gruden making some good calls here. He's doing his best. And Carr on a short second and two. Up the middle for Waller once again. 12 yard on the 12 yard line. And they're going to give this one to Jacobs who goes to the left. 
breaks a tackle and goes into the end zone for a touchdown. Josh Jacobs is making sure the Raiders are in a great position to win this game. And to do that, they're going to have to go for two. We get Carr out of the pocket. He throws this one to the left, floats it, and it will go out of bounds. So they do not get it. So we need to score here. McCaffrey to the right side. He makes a nice juke and will be tackled down on the 43-yard line. So we're going to try and run the ball as much as we can on this drive. Mix in a couple throws to keep them off balance. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. Over to Roberson. And it will be a first down. So we're trying to milk the clock to the two-minute warning. This is where we come in with our two-minute game, our clock management. This is where we win and lose games. You see teams not manage the clock at all, and they don't set themselves up with good opportunity, and that's what we're doing here with McCaffrey. The two-minute order, two-minute warning, and he makes a nice run, and Las Vegas is going to start burning timeouts. But it doesn't matter because McCaffrey punches it up the middle for, an, for a touchdown. His fourth rushing touchdown of the game. He's having a great fantasy football week. Everybody's going to be trying to pick him up on fantasy this week. Hopefully we can continue that production. And it's up to Derek Carr now to bring them back. They're looking for one more drive. Waller up the middle with a nice broken tackle. A minute and a half to go now. They're calling their hurry-up offense. Carr drops back, he throws, he finds his receiver open. That's Waller once again. And with a minute to go, Jacobs on the throw. He gets a couple on the tackle there. But he will be stopped shy of the first down, second and four. Carr drops back once again. I believe that is Williams once again. And 30 seconds to go. Here we go, Carr drops back. He looks to the end zone and it will be picked off. Our corner, Dante Jackson with an interception on that play and it will seal it. A couple of kneel downs and that will be the game. So, we're gonna kneel down the ball with six seconds to go. It was a great game, great showing for Christian McCaffrey in our offense. Our defense came up clutch when we needed them. And that's going to do it for week one. Uh, 304 passing yards. They beat us on, but we did beat them 229 rushing yards. And I'm excited. That was a great first game. We had a lot of good things to look at. Teddy Bridgewater, 160 yards, so not a lot. But McCaffrey did make up for it. 230 yards, four touchdowns. We don't really... I mean, we need the passing game, but when we're having a guy putting on a performance like that on the ground, definitely helps. So, DJ Moore, 86 yards um, with the receiving. We did have a couple of tackles for TJ Green and Shaq Thompson. Uh, Chin had a couple as well. So, that's going to do it for our first episode. We do see right here Christian McCaffrey, obviously NFC Offense Player of the Week. With that performance, I would agree. So, in our next episode, we will be taking on Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Tom Brady. That's going to be a great matchup, a great game. So, hope to see you there. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.